What's going on, everyone? Um, well, new poll numbers are in for the president, and he hits a high of 52 after that State of the Union address. Seems like that message that he was sending home actually, actually did the job for him, really. I mean, it's not, not to say that it's going to be even remotely in the same range come 2020. I'm just saying right now that it, it spiked up. Uh, apparently, a lot of America who was listening really enjoyed the speech. And it was a good speech. It was a pretty unifying speech. If you haven't checked it out, I, I strongly urge you to check it out. It's all over YouTube. You can find the whole speech from beginning to end. And it's, it's worth the it's worth a watch. It was probably the most presidential speech he's ever said, definitely. And it was good. But, uh, yeah, there's a couple different polls out. Numbers are, you know, every poll's got slightly different numbers. But, um, uh, it's right, the, at the highest is the Rasmussen poll. And, um, it's got them at 52%. And that one's fairly accurate. But I'm going to put a couple links in the description for a couple different polls for you can see. I mean, there's some that are probably way off. I mean, they're some of them are you can tell are kind of out of control, where they leaned a little little left, a uh, little hard left. But uh, yeah, so that's good. And uh, other bad news, it looks like the border wall and um, government funding issue it was going smooth there for a little bit, and then. Looks like the Democrats are going to stalemate it this time um, and, and put us back into a government shutdown over something kind of silly. It's something they put in there at the last minute. They want to reduce the amount of beds at the detention facilities. And they I want to only hold people with criminal records, people that have committed crimes. And they, like I said, they put it in their last minute. And now, pretty much, we're at a stalemate again. It's like, well, I don't get why this is such a big deal. I mean, it's something that every single president has has called for. And every one of them's got money. Bill Clinton got money for the uh, putting up sections of wall. Bush got money for putting up sections of wall. Obama got money. Obama was a very firm believer in border security. I mean, that was one of his big things that actually had the right, you know, in agreement with him. And, and the fact that it's just, this is all political BS. That's all it is. It's just political nonsense. It, it's, it makes us look bad as a people. I mean... We're supposed to be very bipartisan. That's what the government's supposed to do. You know, bring two sides, work to a compromise. Well, in his defense, he's came down and compromised a lot. Because the first figure he wanted was about $20 billion, somewhere around there. Which is still, I mean, it sounds like a lot of money. But when it comes to the, the federal government's budget, it's not much at all. And then he went down to five, what, $5.7 billion. Which that was, I mean, that's crumbs. That's like, it's not, it doesn't even barely register as a percentage of the national budget. And then he went all the way down here recently, after the government opened up and they started resuming talks, to two billion. Because that's what um, Border Patrol and everything said. At the minimum, that would be probably good. We could probably do something with that. And this is the Border Patrol agents asking for this money. You know, the people that are actually working down there. And all these politicians in Washington, they're not the ones who have to deal with this on a daily basis. They're not the ones who have to walk up on the bodies of people that didn't make it, crossing, trying to cross through a desert. These walls are to funnel them. It's not because we hate them. It's to funnel them into approved checkpoints where proper paperwork and everything can be done on these people. And proper checks can be done on the criminals that are coming across. Because we all know there are criminals that come across. But I, I just... it It's looking like he may actually have to do that national emergency route. Which, 
it's not a big deal either. Since I think the 60s or 70s, there's been over 52 national emergencies, and we're still currently in some of those national emergencies, like technically. But um, yeah, this isn't. It's it's ridiculous. This argument that they're having is so ridiculous. It's everyone should be mad, whether you're on the right or you're on the left. If you're a far leftist, you're out of your mind. So I don't. I'm not going to listen to pretty much anything y'all have to say because far leftists are crazy people. But um, everyone that's more of a centrist or a moderate should be able to understand this. It's a common sense issue. Yeah, it, it, well, it's not going to stop every problem because we're still going to have vast swaths of area that aren't going to have a wall. But those areas are so desolate that uh, most people aren't going to try to get into America from those areas because the trip's going to be almost practically deadly. But, um, yeah. Democrats in Washington really need to get their, get their crap together, man. This isn't something that is unfounded or unheard of. It's something that ev almost every president's been doing. Even their Democratic presidents. And their Democratic presidents got a lot of money for the wall in the 20s and, and close to $30 billion in some cases. And he can't even get two just because it's Trump and they don't want to let him have a win on anything. And that's all it is. It's partisan crap. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to end up, I'm just going to end up starting to rant, so I guess I'm going to get off here. Um, as always, like, share, subscribe. I'll put the links for the um, polls in the description. Y'all take it easy. I'll catch y'all on the flip side.